Joining us now for an exclusive interview is Cleveland Cliff CEO Lorenzo Gonsalves. Good to have you back, Lorenzo. Your stock has doubled since September. It's been on this epic run, along with prices of steel and iron ore. What's driving it? The real economy. And by, by the way, very nice talking to you again, Sarah. Uh, it's great to be uh, on with you and Wilf again. Uh, it's a, it has been a 2020 you. challenging year, but it's a great ride for us. We act when other people uh, uh, are frozen, and uh, we tend to move ahead of the pack when the opportunities uh, come to in, to in front of us, and uh, we act. So we are very, very happy with what's going on. You mentioned it's the real economy. Auto production in particular has been strong. Auto demand has been strong. How much does that have to do with it versus a broader sort of bet on the cyclical recovery that will come with the vaccine in China, which is huge, obviously, but, but also in the U.S.? Yeah, in our case, it's a, a lot of what's going on is about automotive. We are by far the largest supplier of automotive in the country. Uh, out of the, our legacy footprint at K-Steel, we produce uh, around 3 million tons a year. Uh, and uh, with the new assets, we will add another three and a half to four million tons a year. That's half of what is consumed in steel for car manufacturing in this country. So the recovering automotive, the change in, in consumer behavior that happened with automotive since the pandemic has been a, a huge boost for our results out of Cleveland Cliffs. Hmm. I find it interesting that your stock and has rallied during the election. President Trump was, was thought to be very friendly for the steel industry, put on those tariffs on steel. How do you expect a Biden administration and its policies to affect the outlook and be different for your industry and your company? Look, I, I think it's, 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 uh, the, the Biden administration will show that, that show time for things that uh, we have been advocating for a long time. And it was great to hear Brian Moneyhan today talking about inclusive capitalism. Capitalism is not about creating billionaires and a bunch of people driving for, for Uber or Instacart. Capitalism is about sharing, it's about paying people, generate, generating good uh, paying middle class jobs. Because the, 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 these are the consumers, these are the ones that move the economy. And the steel business is in the, in the, in the foundation of capitalism. So I think that the Biden administration will be the breeding ground for an inclusive capitalism that will be environmentally friendly and will be very friendly to the people and to the middle class. It will be United States time. Hmm. Interesting answer. Lorenzo, good to have you on. Thanks for joining us. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.